This is the first presentation that actually went okay for me. <laughs> I still had that one thing. Let's see if this changed at all after I restarted. I don't know why it would with managing bottles and uh, configuring the... Um, I guess I'll let it initial, initialize before I go to control panel. I don't even know what it means or why it thinks it needs to initialize. Okay, they're all ready. Let's go here. Let's go to the wine config and let's launch the sucker. What's going on? How did I lose that? My god. Well, I don't know if it's... I don't know what's causing that. Anyway, that's that part is the only thing that's went wrong because before I started filming, that worked. <laughs> Um, I don't know how else I would change the drive assignments on this. I really don't. I really don't. So I'm glad at least I had it set up. But the, all those assignments, it'll look the same way that I did up there. Now what I'm going to do is a little treat for everybody. Uh, of course, the only reason why it's a treat is because I'm just I decided I'd do it. Um, I'm going to set up Acrobat in Wine, and then I'll demonstrate a performance difference between what I have in Windows 7 on my, well, a Pentium 4 computer. <laughs> but, but still, you'll, you'll be able to see in the Pentium 4 computer what, what you won't see in, on this newer computer, but all the stuff it does in the background that causes problems in older older systems and if you know if you have an older system you'll be able to see that there is a performance difference between um, uh, Linux and Windows or this you won't because the, the machinery is so powerful it just hides all, all the problems that you would have otherwise okay so I'm gonna do first thing I've inserted my disk there it just happens to be that the way my uh, system is pre-set up and I would expect of yours although it isn't obvious to you this is CD-ROM 0 it places devices you stick in in this DVD drive or the USB drive under media so I'm gonna change directories to media CD-ROM it'll complete the rest and this is 0 and then I'll just do a abbreviated version of DIR for those of you who remember the DOS days this isn't exactly well yeah I think it is yeah if you're using regular wine you gotta do this the reason why I'm using regular wine is because I found at least in, on my other desk that I've already done I've already done this before that um, it works better under regular wine in this instance than with code weaver so I'm choosing to go with uh, regular wine okay now I can see that there is an autoplay.exe file and so the way wine works behind all those ground you because you're going to want to know this at some point you may have to make changes to something uh, uh, wine is itself a program that wraps around the program you want to run <laughs> so I'm going to go with autoplay I type in a u t o and then a p that should do it yeah it completed it for me and then I'll get to go, press enter. Oh, Adobe Acrobat Pro. Do you mean it? Is it real? Yes, it is. Okay, and I'll hit click on that. My disk starting to spin. And my next computing space requirement. I should have about 40 gigs available. But this, this install takes about 10 gigs. Now, this wasn't a problem before, so I'm wondering why it would even be a problem now. And it is. So, I'm going to put the username in here. And the serial number, and so I'm not going to put that on display, am I? What I'll do is pause here. 